Welcome to Creatively Montessori. Today I'm going to show you another Montessori math fact work. Fact work being the memorization of facts. It's not conceptual, but it's fact work. And this is called dice addition. So you have a pair of dice and then you have two different colors of preferably the same thing. I love this work because it's one of the many materials in a Montessori environment where I have children work with a partner. You really can do this work alone, but the children like to work together. And so I like to find ways and material that specifically need a partner. So I would be working with a friend. My, my friend would have, my friend would have the blue Unifix cubes with their die. I would have my white Unifix cubes with my die. We would both have our sheets of pa blank paper with our names on them. My friend would roll, they rolled a six and they would get out six Unifix cubes. Again, they don't have to be Unifix cubes. They can be whatever you have available to you. If you're in a home setting, it could be Duplos, it could be Legos, it could be six spoons. It, it really can be, it just has to be a tangible object. So they had six and then I'm going to roll a five. You, by the way, do have to teach children how to roll dice. Otherwise, they just grab it and then they drop it, which if they drop it and it spins, that's fine. What did I just have on there? Five, right? Um, but it's funny to see. And then I show them how to put their hands together and make it loose to shake. And it's just really cute to see them try because their hands are so little. All right. So my friend had six and I have five. So on our paper, we're going to write down six plus five. And then let's add them together and see how many we have all together. So they would count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six plus five is eleven. And then in my classroom, we just had a predetermined number of problems that they would do. And so at the beginning, when they first started working on this, I would have a half sheet of paper of just blank copy paper that I would fold so it had four sections on it if you will and they would do the front so they would have four problems they would do and then as they got better at doing it and they wanted to do more they would do then four on the back the fact work is one of the works in our classroom that i do not allow the paper to go home if it's incorrect so if they counted and both wrote down that six plus five is eight i would say let's get that problem back out let's get the material back out and i'll come over and i'll count with you and Again, you kind of see very quickly, you're observing the children, you see who's working well together, you see, sometimes you'll, I'll just get kids that will just be doing their own and they'll just be rolling and then they frequently don't have enough Unifix cubes. So if they get a six plus a six, they're only nine in each of these, so they don't have enough. Um, and actually in here, there don't even need to be nine, there only need to be six because the largest problem you could have is six plus six. So in this one, um, you would only have to have six cubes, not nine. So this is a Montessori. Actually, it wasn't created by Montessori. It's a fact work that I learned in my training at the Houston Montessori Center at the elementary level. And again, it wasn't Unifix cubes. It was something else. But I have always, over the years, adapted it. Um, these these just happen to be the dice I could find today, but they have elephants on them. Aren't those adorable? Um, but I have dice with hearts on them for Valentine's Day. And instead of Unifix cubes, I'll use heart erasers. And I try if I can get like pink heart erasers and red heart erasers. I oftentimes use dice that have something fun on them. Like I have dice that have shamrocks on them. And then I'll have um, green flat marbles and yellow flat marbles. Just, I try and change it up every month so that it's interesting and it's not just the same old, same old for the children. So, I don't always do it thematically based on holidays. I frequently do cultural studies. So we might be spending the semester studying Asia or Africa. And so I would use these dice for that. And then I would probably put two different kinds of stones in here, like rocks that you might find in whichever place we were doing, Asia or um, Africa. So that's how I try and incorporate some of our cultural studies into math or other areas of the classroom. But this one, I like it color-wise in terms of using it during um, the cold winter months. Specifically, I use this for January because uh, I tend to have not very much to do in January 
other than winter themed things. So I hope you enjoyed this video on this math fact work. And I hope it works for you to use it with your little one or to use it in your whatever setting you have. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, what you do to help teach your child memorization of facts. Flashcards are not something that is promoted in a Montessori. We like things to be very hands-on for the child to have things that they can count. And then as they get more adept at counting, they will naturally just be able to recall that three plus three is six. So I'd love to hear what, what you all are doing for fact work and how you help your, your children learn the memorization of facts. I will see you tomorrow for our next video.